Hey y'all, Jazz Creations Art Sanity here, and I am still playing with my runoff paint from my previous acrylic pour. Um, this is actually the second video I have done with my runoff. Um, so I did the original pour, which I will leave linked in here. It was a flip cup on a strainer. And then I did, um, I made a couple of coasters with that runoff that I will leave that video linked in here. And if you, well, if you haven't watched those, make sure to do that. But in the coaster video, I said how pretty the underneath um, paint of the runoff was. And I thought it was a really pretty background. So I decided to um, grab, these are eight by 10 canvases. So I'm doing three of them here. And I used my scraper there and I scraped up all that leftover paint that I have on my um, mat here. Well, I'm, I'm actually working on plastic. I think in my previous video, I said I was working on a silicone mat. I'm not. I'm actually, I actually have plastic over my silicone mat. But anyway, so I use my scraper to scrape off or scrape up all of the runoff into one pile. And you can see all those pretty colors under there. So then I use my canvases, like I said, these are eight by tens and just dipped them into that runoff paint. Um, made sure that I had coverage on all of them. You saw the one I had to double dip, not a big deal. I also dipped to cover my sides. And then I hit it with my torch just to take care of any air bubbles that I introduced. So for these first two um, canvases, I am going to make some flowers on them. Um, well, actually I'm going to make flowers on all three of them, but the first two I'm doing, um, using the chain pull method to make my flowers. So the colors that I'm using are still just the leftover colors from the original, um, pour that I did. I will have everything listed in the description. It's also in that original video. Again, be sure to check all that out. So for the purple and gold here, I'm just using some cheap chains. Um, they're necklace chains that I found at Walmart on sale. Just there's nothing special to them. They're just, they're really cheap. I am dipping them into my colors and then pulling them through my fingers to get any excess um, paint off of there because I don't want it dripping everywhere. And then I've got a cup of water to the side. After I get done pulling on my canvas, I dip it into my cup of water and then dab it between my paper towels just to kind of clean it up a little bit before dipping again. So I will just continue to do this. Now this green one here that I just did, I'm actually using, those are Mardi, Mardi Gras um, beads that I'm using that I just... Um, cut so that it's kind of like a chain and so yeah that's what I'm using to pull on this green one I just continue uh, doing this until I'm satisfied um, with what I have on here so uh, the uh, um, I'm doing white over this green um, rinsing my chains off as you know, I go, like I said, I've got a cup of water to the side. I'm dipping those in there every time I pull off and kind of dabbing any extra paint um, on my paper towels there before re-dipping in my paint. And I just keep doing that, pulling my flowers until I get something that I like. Um, I will do a close-up at the end so that you see everything. My camera kind of cut off there in the middle. So for this last one here, I thought I'd try something a little different. I'm actually making uh, puddles of paint on my canvas and then using a straw to make some flowers. I, <laughs> I overworked this piece so it 
it is going to change up here. Um, I don't know. There, there's been so many pieces that I have, while editing, I've like <laughs> yelled at myself, what are you doing? Stop. Leave it alone. But you know, hindsight's 2020, right? But, um, so I'm just going to keep making puddles of paint, blowing it with my straw to make some flowers. This, don't get too attached, y'all. This is not going to stay like this. Like I said, I completely overworked it, didn't like it at all. So uh, what I do, I end up coming in with, um, I put a little bit of um, puddles of paint down, but then I do come in with a balloon and do like um, balloon flowers or balloon dips um, on this canvas. Now I'm not doing the whole canvas, I'm just kind of doing an arch um, kind of up through the middle and then down in the corner there. Again, just using the leftover paints from the original pour that I did. Went a little crazy on that one. If you want to know about how I mix my paints in and all of that, all, all of that information is in the original video. So here's where I just, I keep blowing because I'm just not, it's just, I don't know, I not really liking what I've got right now. Um, so yeah, I just keep messing with it and then here you go. I put a little bit of puddles of the colors on there and got my balloon and just started dipping away. And I do like how this come out in the end. Um, so I guess that's all that matters, right? I will come in here with a close up of the uh, wet. Here we go. This is the purple and gold flowers. Really happy with how these come out. This is the wet. Um, I have not, of course, well, they're dry now, but I have not sealed them yet. Um, so here's my balloon dips, balloon flowers. And then I've got the uh, green and white pull flowers. So yeah, really happy with all of three of these. Um, that's it for this one. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya.